Welcome everyone to my second channel where we take a more behind the scenes and off the cuff look at stuff I do on my main channel. This is a little bit of a different type of video because something special just showed up to my shop. Take a look. Dude. This is your car. It's, well, dude, this is, this is awesome. How, how are you? How rare is this? <laughs> a Supra in horrible condition. So this is my Fast and Furious dream completely realized. So uh, for those of you that don't know, this is Michael Elsia. Um, he has a awesome, awesome YouTube channel. And uh, he also does a lot of stuff with Supras. And he's a really good driver, like really, really good. He was actually my instructor uh, when I went down to learn how to drift in Alabama. Oh yeah, you and Jack came up and we had a blast, man. Jack yeah. was killing it in the Mustang. Uh -huh. And you tend to really like my 350Z a lot better than the Mustang. And I'm with you there. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I, I think I need uh, some more seat time. Uh, but this thing, this thing is cool. Now, um, here's why there's a Supra in, well, in the parking lot of my shop. Uh, it's because when we took apart the uh, Porsche 996 Turbo that we uh, gave to Matt from E3 Customs, we had an engine left over. And the engine was built, it was a 4.2 liter stroker, really, really cool build, but I didn't have anything to do with it. Just so happens that Mike here, he had a 996 Turbo that he wanted a, a really cool engine for. And then he had this car, which he didn't know what to do with. Um, this is essentially a shell. It's a right-hand drive car. Uh, it is running and driving, is it? It runs and drives, and it actually drifts very well. And I left a few goodies on it for no you. Way. Oh, I left you some goodies. Okay. So we got a little bit of steering angle modifications. Oh, so, do, we, um, do we now? Oh yeah, but it still drives like OEM. Okay. Uh, this I'm, does I'm, run this and drive. Oh, this is an OEM. That's uh, is this factory paint? Yeah. Um, yeah. So in Japan, they uh, this is factory, factory good. option, and good. you know they aren't used to our petrol over here. That's yes. why it's a little bit leaky. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I I see that. So I traded that engine for a Supra. And I didn't know I could do that, and uh, I just had to jump on the chance. And yes, I do have a Supra. We've done a Supra build on the channel. Um, and that's why I want you guys to let me know what I should do with this car. I think I already know what I'm gonna do with it. Um, but in the comments, just let me know uh, what you think I should do with this car. We have to get this car off this. Actually, let's, let's take a look around it. There's a lot to look at. So first, let's start with the goods. Okay. It has a clean title. What? Okay. And I remembered to bring it with me too. Oh, okay, all right. So, it's clean as in like you, you put it in the wash. No, yeah. no, there's no markings on it. No salvage, no rebuilt. It's a clean title. Huh. He's foaming at the mouth right now. Yeah, that's, like, that's this is me. This is me foaming, uh, foaming at the mouth. Um, so, right, so obviously <laughs> some things were not discussed with the authorities, right? <laughs> Because there might it, be a, maybe it shouldn't have a clean title, yeah. but it does. Okay. Uh, so moving on to the next uh, good part about this car. It, um, did I mention it has a clean title? Yeah, okay, okay. okay yeah. So, uh, so we, uh, have, <laughs> we have a uh, carbon fiber hood that is just the best condition I've ever seen uh, in carbon fiber. I mean, this is, uh, honestly, this will buff. This will buff real nice. It will, and um, there's a nice escape hole for uh, a leaf blower so you can cool the exhaust manifold down. Good, so is that is that, uh, is that the speed hole to make the car faster? Absolutely. Okay, cool. It can be whatever you want it to be. Okay. And it came with some fresh Alabama pollen. Y'all didn't seem to have enough down here, so I brought some with me. Yeah, 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 we did have a pollen alert. I think that was you just going through that the was state. Me. Yeah, that's uh, a w wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so this does have brakes. So that's good. Uh, these are the NA, the naturally aspirated brakes. They're smaller, two piston in the front, one piston in the rear. And really good Nankang tires with uh, the uh, OEM dry rot here. Uh, so that'll hold some air. Uh, 2008 is, they still have tread on them from 2008. So the rubber compounds back then were way better than they are now. They are, yeah, this was a good year. You know like wine, you, like it's a good harvest. Absolutely. This was a good year for rubber. This wheel and tire actually came on Taylor Hole and I's 1993 Toyota Supra, and I put one on this Supra so it could live on. That Supra was um, extracted from the backwoods of Alabama. That's uh, 
another story for another day. Good, good. Well, there's no frame damage, but there's also no crash bar in there, as you know, as per standard drift car spec. Um, is it? Can, can we? Can we open up the? Honestly, I'm making fun of this, but like, it's this is so cool. This is really, really cool. It's a blank canvas. It's a blank. It's a blank canvas. Oh wow! It's OEM. OEM functionality. Take a look at this. <gasps> 2JZ, no <laughs> Oh boy. This will decimate all with about $10,000 worth of overnight parts from Japan, right? Oh, uh, not $10,000 anymore. Maybe a little It's probably, probably like $100,000. Maybe $200,000, uh, but it runs great. This is also out of that Supra that came out of Backwoods, Alabama, because the day after I bought this vehicle, I took it out to Mid Pond and it exploded after two laps. So, okay. um, it should perform great now. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, after the first explosion, that's usually when things get a lot better. Um, so I wanted to uh, consult with experts here. Guys, come over here. Check out my new car. Look look at this. It's, it's a car. Don't look so excited. I'm excited. I know. It's my birthday's cool. coming up. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not getting out of a Oh, no? Right? Come on, man. <laughs> OEM Fender right here. It is. Hey, These are them. new from Toyota OEM Fenders. You can still buy them from Toyota. They just have a little bit of sun damage, but they were new like a couple years ago. And Jack, I'm sorry because I know what this means for you. Mm -hmm. From the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. <laughs> well, we'll I'm... get to the quarter panels later. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, Jack's going to be doing the, the uh, body work to this uh, because I'm not doing it. Uh, so... <laughs> This is this is cool. It's cool. It listen. It's a Supra. I don't want to. I don't want to poo poo this. Um, but check check this out, Jack. Uh, look 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 at this. Cause um, there's no rust. The there's rails no... look good too. Yeah, the rails look, look, look really good. Well, yeah. there's one little spot of rust. Don't don't. But don't harsh my mellow, yeah. man. You know, <laughs> you're just but ruining it's, it. It's solid. Uh huh. The bones are good. That's another good part about this car that I didn't tell you. It has solid bones. The bones. Yes. That's is is this a bone? Is that a bone? It used to be. That, that might need to be replaced. That was that's a broken bone. I've okay. never seen body filler in a radiator support. I've so never seen is, that either. This yeah. is really cool. That's this cool. is unique. Yeah. So what color what color is this? It is Alpine Silver. It's a 1993 SZ package. Uh-huh manual so it's a factory manual car so you don't have to cut the tunnel out to replace that piece mm -hmm. um the sz's came with a very nice 408 uh-huh posi rear end lsd whatever you want to call it and they work great uh -huh. unfortunately um in a time crunch i had to take that out of this supra and put it in rutledge wood supra oh because no his was making a little noise so you have a nice open diff in here that's Ready good for a uh, welding. Good, good. I say we weld it up. Good. So, so one tire fire uh, in a in a Toyota Supra. That's always good when you add a lot of power. That's good. Absolutely. Uh, perfect. Perfect. So, uh, if I am to believe Fast and Furious, then uh, basically one little montage with a bunch with a bunch of parts on the floor uh, will make this into like a uh, just a street destroyer, right? I mean, yeah. All we need is one empty truck bed. Uh huh. A horde of Mitsubishi Evos surrounding it as we drive down the road with those twenty thousand dollars worth of parts yeah we got at least one evo over there yeah so we're almost there good good uh let's go to the back of the car because uh jack is over there uh also foaming at the mouth for different reasons is this an actual uh turd you know <laughs> yes <laughs> okay Third they misplaced the u somewhere yeah um, yeah <laughs> you lost that somewhere between here and Ironically, in the truck bed, I do have a new rebar that is off my purple Supra uh -huh. that I no longer have. So we can replace this uh -huh. quite easily. But if I know Jack, he's probably going to want to give it a little tug before he unbolts it. Jack gives a lot of tugs to yeah. people around here. That's um, what I hear. <laughs> yeah. Word uh, on the street. So, but but come, come, come here. This is where the party really, really <laughs> gets kicking. The one was hiding this side. Yeah. So... She's not, she's not a, Jack, on a scale of one to 10, how good is this body work? That's body work? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's... I, see, I, see, I see some Bondo, I see some sanding marks, you know? There was some work and love put into this car. Yeah. They put something into it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not good. It's oh. not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, 
Jeez. Oh, oh my God. Look, it didn't Look even crack. That's good. That's good body work. So, <laughs> the craziest thing is this wasn't a drift car. This just happened, I guess, on normal wear and tear. This was not put into a wall. I did not hit a wall with this car. Okay, but you didn't, but somebody else did. Someone did, yes. and the kicker, uh, this car came out of Australia, so Ooh. I'm not sure, maybe it originated there, maybe it came in from Japan, if you guys know how that works, let us know in the comments, because I'm very curious if yeah. it started life in Japan and ended up in Australia. And I'm also curious if that's Australian mud or JDM mud. This is, yeah, I mean, we have to, we have to save this uh, because this might be very, very rare, as is the uh, OEM rust. Uh, that's probably Japanese. Like, I know Jap- hold on. It's Japanese rust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight out of Japan. Yeah, straight out of Japan. So you want to you keep that. That's, uh, that, adds, that adds flavor. One thing I should do right now is, even though this car is in this bad of shape, I want to know what the actual vehicle history is using our sponsor, Car Vertical. Now, I've been working with Car Vertical for a very long time, and that is because they are the best vehicle history report you can get for your car. Not only does it tell you if a car has been stolen all over the world, or if it has fire damage, or it's been in a flood, or in a bad accident, but it can also tell you if it has mileage discrepancies, and they're super easy to suss out. All you have to do is go on the website, type in your VIN number, and it gives you a full vehicle history report, and it tells you everything you need to know. Now, another thing I like about Car Vertical is if you have a car that has a salvage title or a rebuilt history, you can see the photos of the car in the salvage lot after the accident. And that is super helpful if you want to know if it had any accident damage repaired and how well that repair went. Now, this Supra needs a lot of work, but if you guys are looking for a car that doesn't need a lot of work, definitely hit up Car Vertical before you buy. You owe it to yourself, and if you use my code Tavarish, you can get 20% off. It's in the link in the video description below. Go check it out right now. You said it's basically a shell. Uh-huh. But pop the trunk. Pop the trunk? Pop the trunk. Okay, where, did, where does the... Uh, it's oh, a it's process. On, it's on the, okay, it's on the other side. Okay. Yeah, it's... I know. do like the door um, handle delete. I like that. And the best thing about right-hand drive cars, when you put them on an American trailer uh -huh. and you can't open the door, you have to get out of the passenger side yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah. remove awesome. your trailer well. So yeah, that's it's, good. It's, it's nice. All right, let's... This is a body shop cheat code right here that um, I don't know if Jack will support this or not. But to, to, to fix these Dude. quarter panels, <laughs> this is all you have to do according to the internet. You have totally redeemed yourself. <laughs> and it's done. That. Look at that. Fix. Thousands of hours fixed in two seconds. So fix. these are freebies if you uh, would like to use them. They are yours, sir. Um, Let me fix this for you. Yeah. I'm going to fix this. I know how to fix this. Hold on. There's a dumpster right over there. <laughs> <laughs> this is... It's, uh, it's, oh, it's, she's super wide there. She's thick. Yeah, yeah she's, she's, she's a thick. thick girl. She's, she got some... She got some gams. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> so that's a that's a choice. That is a choice. There's an option here. Okay. There is an option. And there's some interior left. Um, oh, that's actually cool. So yeah, like there's... legitimately, it's it's hard to find a lot of this stuff, especially for yes. right-hand drive. It is really difficult to find pretty much anything on yeah. the interior. So I did bring a lot. I brought some uh, spare taillights I'm Ooh. never gonna use that are not in good shape. But, That's okay. Um, I don't know, maybe you guys can do something with them. Yeah, but... we can make wall art or something, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah, that's, uh, you know. It runs. Good. Did I mention it has a clean title? Yes, 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 you did. I, did? I still, okay. I don't believe you, but that's okay. <laughs> um, you know, cause, so let's, come, come over here. I wanna show you the, uh, the wonderful interior. Do we, is it uh, right there? Yeah, push down. Push down. There you go. Oh, wait, wait, did I, did I just lock myself out of my own car? Maybe. Oh, like that? Yeah, push down that. A little more. Nope, try it. You locked yourself out. I oh my locked God. myself out. I, you know, you think you know about cars and you just, you just don't. I'll figure this out. The price just went down. 
Maybe he should take it back. Ah, oh, yeah. there we go. Oh. I was about. To, I almost lost that. Yeah, on the yeah, steel. We're, we're, yeah. We're about to return this. Hey, that, there's a glove box. There is a glove box. Um, so the fun part about this is that these right-hand drive cars uh, sometimes they came with a second glove box up here because they didn't come with uh, airbags, and uh, these are impossible to find. They cannot be found. Uh, we had a problem with finding it for Rex's Supra when we made that because it was a right-hand drive car. We ended up having to make a panel. Matt from E3 Customs made a panel. Uh, but if we have, I mean, the center console is not super hard to find. The dash, I'm really glad is here. Uh, and the door panels aren't here, but not the end of the world. We'll figure that out. But dude, it's, uh, it's, it's all here. It's not crashed um, much. It's not crashed too much. Too much, yeah. It's had it's had some run-ins with a hedge or two or five. This guy will say otherwise, especially now that he's looking at the quarters from the inside. <laughs> uh -huh. And I believe he already found the surprise on the uh, rear body extension over here around the fuel oh, door. Oh, do we have more surprises? Yeah. Um, a few little taps. There's, I found a lot of surprises in my short ownership of this vehicle. Wonderful. And, um, oh yeah, he yeah. found it. Special antenna. Okay. It's not and good. There's a, you know, there's a little bit of crushed panel here. Just okay. a little bit. It's a tiny crushed tiny panel. Bit. Tiny well, bit. well, it's good because the quarter panels are the, the easy things to change, right? Yeah, and they're easy to find. They're easy to find for sure. Take a look at that. Yeah, on a, on a car that they haven't made in 20 years. Let me just take this out of here. It's, you know, it just unplugs, right? Oh, no. But here, <laughs> you here we go. There Careful, we go. that's OEM, dude. Yeah. <laughs> How do you get that out? I don't know, but uh, the, the originality is suffering right now. Yeah, that's not going to come out. It's stuck. Do you think this would be helped with dry ice? It'll be a waste of ice. It'll be a waste of ice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. It'll be a waste of ice. Well, the frame rail's straight, at least. Just the quarter panel down there. But that's not terrible. You okay. Could, that, that's a, that, you can fix that. Okay. Well, Jack said it's not terrible, so it's not terrible. That's, uh, <laughs> you, don't, you know. You don't have to replace that. that, that that's an Fantastic. Easy fix. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that that's, uh, that's the case. Just um, go get some more parts from the donor car. What donor car? The one that we used to build oh, yeah. That's my car! <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, there's a donor Supra somewhere? Because no, no, I'm going home with an empty trailer, no, but no. we could change that no, if there's a donor. We donor cars that are not <laughs> Mark IV Supras, okay? When you said Mark IV <laughs> donor car, now I'm foaming at the mouth. This one wasn't rough enough for me. That's why I'm passing it on. Yeah, it's, yeah if, if anything, when I look at this car, I think it's too nice. <laughs> Wonderful. But um, in the words of Bob Barker, wait, there's more. Yeah. I'm going to get you a box of some very good parts that are missing, but I have them. Oh, that's awesome. They're actually so valuable. I put them in the cab of my truck. No way. Absolutely. We got more? I mean, come on. Who takes care of super parts? I, I try to take <laughs> care of them. Let's see what we got. This is a nice truck, man. Nothing like an 08 Dodge. All right, so there's a Ooh. crash bar. Okay. Um, this was a special delivery from Taylor Hole. Oh, okay, good. So good. he just wanted to give it a little bop at Coach Kickers. That, that's, so, that's fine, a little, yeah. yeah. So that could be filled up like the quarter panels. You just fill it up with a body yeah. filler, right, Jack? Yeah. He yeah. loves that. It's not like a structural safety thing or anything like that. No, no, no. So here is my briefcase. Oh, look at that. Let's see what we got. I don't even remember what I put in that here. Is that is really cool. So yeah. this is really really that's very rare yeah really hard to find uh-huh i believe the only odometer on ebay right now is uh -huh. forty five hundred dollars yeah well you know they can put whatever they want on ebay uh <laughs> this is true uh this is a good kick panel which yes. is also very hard to find yes mine is, uh well, the, the one on rex's supra uh was had a uh, speaker in it so they like the to do 90s. that in japan yeah they the do 90s like, that's true uh rex i'll sell you this uh 200 bucks I thought that was staying with the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have um, a very nice clock spring, uh -huh. so that is good. Okay. So you can put an OE steering wheel back on it and Sweet. have all your functionality. Sweet. Which also, this had no airbag in the dri uh, driver's steering wheel. Mm -hmm. That's where it came in from. From Ford. Jackson Villa. You know, that's a, it's a, it's a very, uh, it's a very exotic place. Um, yeah. It's, this car was here before. I just realized that. Uh -huh. It's back where it uh, originally landed. It's a Florida car. All it its life. A Florida its car. entire life. Here's the lower panel, which uh, someone had some uh, 
probably nitrous switches. Got to be okay. nitrous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. these are also very hard to find. Good. And the Ooh. almighty climate control. That is that is worth its weight in gold. It really is. The, the climate, a right-hand drive climate is impossible to find. That's that's awesome. Oh, and the dead pedal. Dead pedal. Those are hard to find. And, and ooh, manual gauge cluster. Fantastic. That's really really cool. So this needs to go down to ten or eleven. So that's I think we're gonna we're gonna make this go down here. Actually, we can just make it go. Keep yeah, just keep going around. Yeah, see so see how far it goes. Like a rotary. So it is a rotary basically. <laughs> these are the window switches. The right window you can roll up and down. The left window is permanently down because um i sold the glass out of it because i was gonna make this now you tell me a drift car oh good um do drift cars not need glass mine don't okay good. it never right. rains in alabama that's true that's true i don't know if you know this it sometimes rains in florida <laughs> a so couple times it, a couple times during the day yeah um speaking of which i haven't seen any sand in the vehicle yeah so we can change that um i was having a serious talk with him i was like i don't this car's pretty rough it is missing a lot of parts that are really hard to find and he said michael it's uh it's okay and then i realized who i was talking to <laughs> the p1 guy yeah yeah this should be a cakewalk but i know it's not gonna be like there's still gonna be some hard to find stuff yeah but this is uh nothing new for you so yeah, it's... i really don't feel bad i don't have any sort of um I don't know, uh, sympathy mm -hmm. for you having to find these parts because I've been having to do it for years. So yeah. we're in the same boat on this one. Absolutely. So uh, I think, you know, one thing that I really, really want you to do right now is turn this car on and I want to hear what it sounds like. It should run. Okay, I like that. Um, I, It kind of shut off putting it on the trailer. Oh, that's, pen that's good. So I just winched it up the rest of the way. Okay. But uh, Do you think it will run? I think it, I really think it will. Okay. I think I might have just stalled it trying to get it on the trailer. That's okay. Are you, have you uh, driven uh, manual before? Uh, you know, I'm used to driving um, really fast car. No, like a not. Prius? Like a yeah, Prius? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm used to an 04 Camry, you yeah, know, so yeah, yeah. I'm just not used to these slower cars. Right, right. That goes there. Mm -hmm. You might have to do some wiggling. That's okay. I'm good at wiggling. Oh, that sat there the whole drive down. <laughs> that's perfect all right let's see what it does make sure it's not in gear i mean or i don't care you know <laughs> whatever what's the worst that could happen yeah uh can you try wiggling the terminals a little bit more yeah I think it needs a little bit of wiring work as well. Oh, yeah. um, Let's see. It runs when it wants to. There we go. Oh, almost. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh. Maybe another jump box? Yeah. We might need a really beefy jump box. I'll just take this out and then put that. Okay. Oh, are you like hot wiring it? Uh, this is the push button. There's a push button start. Oh boy. Sweet. Uh, very nicely installed. Okay, wonderful. Uh, there's only like seven butt connectors on it, so. Is it in the on position? Um, yes. You have to have the key on and hit the button. Perfect. Could push start it. We could push it into traffic too. You know, I believe you that the engine runs. No, I want to hear it run. <laughs> it's like, this no. car needs to do a burnout before I leave. You want to do a burnout in this? I mean, I can, you can, whoever wants to control it. There's no seat in here. You've been to Alabama. You know how the drift school works. Come uh, on. Uh, yeah, true. Florida's basically Alabama. All yeah, right. Florida man does burnout with no seat. That'll yeah. be the title of the article. <laughs> you guys want to see a 2JZ blow up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I heard something click. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, nice! No faith? Nice! No faith? Hit the ground. Oh. Huh? Hit the ground. Hit the ground? Yeah. Okay. Because it, uh, it, it sparked pretty good. Right <laughs> <laughs> again? Yeah. <laughs> Give it a little gas. It's gonna, gonna 
backfire. Oh, no. Can you wiggle again? Huh? Oh, you gotta wiggle it again. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Good. <laughs> again. Give me more. Uh. Nah. Yeah, it's uh. Uh, Does it have any gas in it? Oh, it's got a full tank. Full tank? Yeah. Wow, you don't get that kind of that kind of value anywhere. <laughs> uh, the electrical system is very unhappy. There's definitely not proper ground here. Okay, good. Uh, there's definitely not proper uh, okay. grounding. We can we can probably look at the grounds. Let's just look at the grounds. Yeah, we should go to the ground. Yeah. It'll do it. It'll do it. We just need to figure out why it's so unhappy. We get it on the ground and it's grounded. <laughs> That's the problem. I didn't even think about that. What's this? That's my YouTube. Check it out. Um, lots of Supra stuff on there. And I actually have more Supra stuff coming, even though he's getting this Supra. And uh, I guess you can say there'll be some 911. Uh, party going on here soon with this new engine coming on so yeah that'll be fun I guess <laughs> what is going on <laughs> Does it start playing music when well, you, you can get it to play that and um start doing some weird stuff like the windows and stuff moving? But I didn't do it on you, purpose. You were just watching. I was it. polishing and it started. It was getting mad. At me touching it. Okay. Well, so, it was like I bad think, touch. Bad touch. I think it's hunted. Somebody yeah. stuck in Halloween. Right. I don't want to crush any of these because not only will I cry, Freddie will too. Yeah, he needs those to control the VTEC. Oh, absolutely. It's going to get rewired, I guess, uh, since our <coughs> wiring is failing us on the big stage right now. I don't know why they're laughing so much right now. There's nothing to laugh about with this. This is a very serious super. The factory hood latches work to where you don't even have to use the secondaries because they simply don't exist. All right, one, two, three. Three. You're good. You're good. You're good. That was scary. There we go. It almost fell off it's that other so side. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter all that much. Does that have coilovers? Yeah. That's coilovers? All right, for real. Minus the diff. Uh -huh. It is drift ready. I did drift it in this current trim and it felt absolutely amazing. Uh, they're modified steering knuckles with uh, aftermarket lower arms to give it more clearance. Uh, and it has some coilovers, not great ones, but they're fine. They work and all are they? Megan race. Okay. They're, they're okay. Uh, and it has all the adjustable rear arms and front arms. So it's What's transmission they have? It's a W58. W58. And um, when the inevitable happens and you guys pull the engine and transmission out, I did not replace the tripod shifter bushings with zip ties. That was the previous, previous owner. Okay. That was not me. Yeah, this is, uh, that's, that's very believable. That's I very would believable. never do such a thing. No, I know you wouldn't. I know, I know. We, we, uh, we have a standard of excellence here, and I think you've, you've met it. A hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. This is uh, me. This is the super waving goodbye to me. Bye-bye. Well, Bye-bye. Uh, yeah. uh, what's crazy is there's like five different Supras on this Supra. Yeah. There's a lot of Supra in this in Supra. Super. Yes. Part of it was my fault and part of it was not. So this was all my leftover stuff from part outs thrown on one car. Is it legal to do burnouts in the state of Florida? It's legal to do anything in the state of Florida. That's what I thought. I thought this was land of the free. It yeah. said that when I came into the state. Yeah. Home of the gator. Yeah. So we just need to uh, get it running good enough so that I can prove to you guys 
that this is a certified ripper even without a seat. Do you want to, the key should be on, you should just be able to hit the uh, push button. Uh -huh. I'll, you know, finagle up here while you hit the right. starter maybe. Okay. Alright. And watch yourself. Oh, it has a little bong. It did bong. Yeah. That's good. If it's bong, we're good. It sounds like it's not getting any fuel. Yeah. Or ignition. I smell fuel. Does this have retractable mirrors? Um, yes it does. I forgot to mention that in the brochure. Retractable mirrors. My god, that you 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 any of you have any idea how rare that is of an option. These are JDM royalty power folding mirrors. Yes. Um, I never got them to work. So, okay. <laughs> but they 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 are power folding. You'll notice they don't go back. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, no airbags, but power folding mirrors. That's okay. Uh, Jack I just realized there's, yeah, there's a lot of more right there. filler in the A pillar. Yeah, that's um, okay. That's okay. There's I think every panel has body filler. Mm -hmm. Except these, they're brand new. The, that's good. The fenders, uh, there's none in the on the hood either. Yeah. Let's, uh, that wire looks like it's a... A smell fuel. So, a yeah, good place. For sure. I believe it's a... That's some good 87 octane that I'm smelling right now. Um, it's got premium in it, so it's oh, ready, nice, nice. It's ready for boost. You can just put a turbo on it, and it's safe to boost all day. Yeah, I, I know. That's usually what they say about cars like this. <laughs> Alabama premium. That's Alabama yeah. premium. Try that. I pushed the distributor plug on a little bit. Whoa! Look at that! Who's ready for Bernie Madoff? Just careful with those wires. So if your uh, Supra's not sparking, uh, try pushing the distributor plug on a little. You'll learn so much here so fast. Let me uh, take these guys out, you know, worth their weight in gold. Listen, tires are cheap, especially those. They're eco plush. Oh, look at that. You sure you're okay? You want a bucket? I'm gonna dial 9-1, and on your mark, dial one again. It's actually pretty comfortable. Seats are overrated. Can you see? Oh, I can see. Great. Uh, you don't need to see when you're only going in circles. <laughs> I just remembered the clutch was slipping last time I drove it. That's okay. We don't have long. Hey, reverse works. Reverse works. That's a guarantee. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I wonder if it was. Uh, I think it's this. I think it's this guy. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, you made it happy again. See, he likes it when you're around because it knows <laughs> this is gonna fall out. <laughs> it's gonna fall into the pulley. <laughs> it's gonna fall into the pulley. I actually just put my last video up <laughs> with this car, and um, it's like a roller coaster. There's a lot of highs and then a lot of lows. Uh, it's lows. like. It's, it's like a roller coaster when uh, someone forgot to inspect it and the bolts all break and yeah. the roller coaster keeps breaking. It's like the county fair. <laughs> <laughs> it is a county fair for sure. No, you can't leave uh, until you do a burnout, right? Uh, no, I agree. I'm totally with you there. And there's something weird making uh, a weird noise coming from the rear. So, uh, I think that's your diff. Yeah, that might be the diff. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, you want to you turn the car off? Or, no, don't turn it off. It might never come back off. Go underneath. Careful, watch, watch, watch your hand. Oh, yeah. I had to watch your head, I'm holding it. <laughs> uh, Freddie's only worried about Jack's hands because they're going to be doing this with a sanding block for the next two years on the side of this car. Yeah. Look at that precision. Already building it better. I don't know if I can put it there because the latch is there, but... Fine. Good. Uh, for my last trick, we'll plug the electric fan in since it seems to be warm now. 
<laughs> yeah, we should add some fans to that. There we go. Perfect. It might be blowing the wrong way, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> luxury package in here. I'm glad they finally made a Toyota tall guy friendly. <laughs> I mean, this is fantastic. All right, sold, my friend, sold. I told you it ran. Absolutely. <laughs> and look, it even has sun visors. Oh my God, this is this is like a Maybach in there. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, you know what? I kind of want to take her back. Yeah, home. you know, you know. Yeah, I mean, no takesies backsies. We you did a handshake, the, that's it. The diff was so mad, it's like, <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with the clutch is slipping and then I smelt all the tires. Yeah, no, no, you were uh, you were on it. Dude, this thing is awesome. It tried to come around. Uh -huh. You see the steering angle though? Yeah, the steering angle looked awesome. It's not bad. Yeah. So we can uh, have a peek at this if you want. This is yeah. kind of a, a budget style aside from going like uh -huh. full race car. Uh, so that's it, it's not wow. too bad. Uh, it's got bump steer corrected outer tie rods, so everything's nice and flat. It looks awful, but it works great. Uh huh. And uh, you gotta leave the drift parts on here. Okay. You got to. It's too much fun. So you know what this smells like? Do you remember when we went to uh, learn how to drift? Yeah. This is exactly what it <laughs> <Yes>. smells like. <laughs> Every car overheating and boiling <laughs> over. It's just it's burnt tire and coolant on the ground. That's, that's all it smells like. We're literally on the radius. Get Jack off the track. The car is mad. The car it's is very angry. mad. Get it Jack started. off yeah. the track. It started again. <laughs> Jack spun the Mustang so hard that sparks came out of the bottom of the car. And the car turned off. They did not think the car would turn back on. And then when it did, he was like, just send it. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't tell Taylor this part, but it's a rental. Don't be gentle. Don't be gentle. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> hey, what else I took that one. I took that advice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, make sure the Super doesn't uh, explode right now. And then I'm going to show you your engine. That will be fantastic. I want to see uh, the fruits of my labor yeah. uh, that I produced with this. It's not, I mean, listen, it's not going to be as nice as this. I just tell you, telling that right now. Okay. Okay. You yeah. Know, this, I don't want to get too hyped up. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's, it's got a full tank of gas. Good. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's full. Good, good. I can tell. <laughs> Alright, let's check out my engine. Uh, enough with this before I blow it up. Uh, because it is a good GE engine, which those are the same bottom end as a GTE. So they got the really strong rods and pistons. They just don't have oil squirters, but that means they make more oil pressure. There's a huge online war against oil pressure in Jay-Z's right now. So uh, you can cast your votes below in the comments on which one's better, higher oil pressure or having oil squirters. I don't know. <laughs> hey, this is the first time I've seen your shop. Yeah, yeah, we just, uh, we just did a bunch of stuff that, you know, move stuff oh, around. This is the new Supra wiring harness. Yeah, Supra right. wiring harness. Yeah. We've already been working on it. You know, it's like a cooking show. We have to have everything done. This is a wiring harness for the P1 we're, we're making. I assume that was the case here. So, here she is. Well, I, I know what that, what is this? Uh, so that's the P1 engine. So I get... Yeah, so you get, you get that one. He seems really happy with the Supra, so I'm going to push my luck here. Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> these, these, like, 
This is absolutely mind-blowing right here. Knowing what's inside this engine yeah. and what comes with it. Yeah. So, and then seeing it casually right next to this engine is, uh, this is quite a corner of engines, uh, yeah, Freddy. Yeah, I thought, I thought, you know, we'd have it next to, uh, next to its brother, but, uh, uh, so this is a, it started life as a Porsche 996 turbo engine, and then it was, uh, completely modified with a 4.2 liter stroker. I believe the stroker was made by a company called CWM or CMW, uh, uh, performance, and, um, Everything is forged, billet, all that stuff, rods, pistons, all that stuff is uh, is very, very bespoke and unique and also has some uh, brand new turbos. Uh, so they are like Tile um, GT28 RS, something like that, turbos. Ball bearing? Uh, I don't think so. I think they're journal bearing. Okay. But they're brand new and they're also upgraded for uh, from uh, a guy called uh, BNR Supercars. So... Hey, he's right down the road for me. Exactly, yeah. So Brian Nichols, the man. Yeah, Brian Nichols is awesome. So uh, the only thing that I would recommend on this is that um, when this engine was done, it had the scavenge system uh, removed, uh, the scavenge system for the oil. So uh, whenever the turbos are lower than the oil pan, you need a way to get the oil out of the turbos, and for that you need a scavenge pump. On the stock 996 turbo, you had a mechanical scavenge pump inside the engine that was removed, so you need an electric one, which we do have. Perfect. Um, so I have already plumbed <laughs> the reservoirs uh, of the oil for AN lines, uh, and then we have uh, the oil pump, which is like just some massive, like a really, really good pump. It's like it's a fire hose. Uh, so just hook, hook that up, and then you should be good to go. Now, I don't know anything other than that. I have seen this drive in the car. Uh, the car was owned by one of my friends, and he did drive it around, so it was a Ranwen Park situation. Um, but this should be pretty good. And if there's any issues, just come back to me, and then uh, you know we can you know you can get your super back. That that's not going to happen though. <laughs> I'll get uh, I'll get the parts super back, which I'm looking for it right now. No, it's in the other shop. <laughs> um, yeah, this uh, I'll probably go through it and mm -hmm. just check it over since these internals are uh, a little expensive. They're very expensive. And uh, I may even have a, another shop do it because yeah. I only have built um, SR20s and JZs and LSs. This, the Porsche world is still a little new to me. Uh, there's not too many drift guys that venture into the Porsche world. Yes. But uh, here I am because I'm like Freddy, I'm a glutton for punishment, and that's why we're <laughs> both standing here right now hovering over a uh, huge financial, uh, uh, great financial choices here. Money pit? No, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a complete waste of money. No, it's, uh, it's a good decision. Good, deci good decision. Uh, fun. Good, it's fun. You can't put a price on fun. You absolutely can, but that's uh, that's okay. Um, so we'll put this uh, in your truck or wherever you want to put it, and then uh, it's your problem now. Okay, well, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So what do I do with it, Freddie? Do we do a high compression GT3 RS style 9,000 RPM screamer, mm -hmm. or do we slap these turbos on and... Uh, make this the cleater beater so i would i mean these turbos should be good for like 900 a thousand how um, much power does cletus's porsche make i believe it's around. not that much not so not, yeah I, I could just run circles around him uh probably but you'd have to so his car is also newer and it, it can put the power down better uh in terms of track control track did control. you not see what i just did yes but you you put you put all the tires down on the ground but but the the you know, you need the car to move. Forward motion. Forward motion. Gotcha. That's the thing. Uh, I did not have that. You yes. have a point. Yeah, but these are these are amazing, man. This, um, this is why I need smart, smart people around me. Uh, yeah, you don't have any here, so I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> totally sorry. The jury's out on smart people. Uh, cool. So we'll we'll get this out, and uh, then we'll put the Supra in somewhere. The Supra is not going to be a project that. Um, actually, guys, uh, come come over here. I, I want to, uh, you know, let's let's have a little team meeting here. I have already done a super build on my channel, and then we've also done Rex's build. But my birthday is coming up again. Your birthday is coming up, and <laughs> you keep on saying that. <laughs> Spoiled. Yeah, Spoiled. Yeah, no. yeah, just so, like entitled. I, I entitled. never asked for anything except other than for, a Supra. Except for another Supra. Yeah, on yeah it needs a brother. It's my birthday. It needs a brother. Yeah. A red one would be nice. That's a valid point. Yeah. yeah thanks, so I, I figured <laughs> that 
um, we should definitely have another Supra build. That is the perfect, perfect Supra. And I think Jack should do it. I think it should be your car. So. <laughs> I'm like so sensitive. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Congrats, bro. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> yeah, man. Jack. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, bring it in. Bring it in. We'll be, God. We'll be oh, on. <laughs> we all have super. Yeah. It's okay. Come on. Right. It's, a, it's, a, it's really crappy. It's a really crappy car. And you have so much, so much oh, work. It's gotten big. A yeah. little backstory yeah. that Freddie doesn't even know because oh. this is like really crazy. Like, a month prior to all this, Jack hit me up and said, man, what are you doing with that Supra? I, and I was like, he's been after a Supra since the day I met him, which mm -hmm. was two years ago. Uh -huh. This dude's been after a Supra. He has good taste in JDM Dream Cars. He does. He like, absolutely does. He <laughs> really yeah. does. He's the hot boy of hot boy. <laughs> and, like, I legit told him, like, dude, I, even if I sold this to you for, like, half of my asking price, you'd be better off spending a little more on a complete car. Yeah. Seriously. I, I like and, cars like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. We all do. That's I see we, the potential. <laughs> I can do it. I'll prove the internet wrong. Uh -huh. But no, like, Jack seriously wanted the car, and I believe it was roughly three weeks later, uh, I was watching your channel, and I saw the engine come out, and literally just said, hey, what are you guys doing with that engine? And, uh... Couldn't really swing the money at the time, and this guy texted me out of nowhere because I was texting Jack about the price of the engine, mm -hmm. and Freddie was like, what do you have to trade? You have a Super, right? He knows I always have a Super. <laughs> <laughs> so, the answer um, to that is always yes, yeah. <laughs> so I called a Porsche friend expert of mine who's done a very similar build to this, and he pretty much yelled at me on the phone to go get the engine right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's super hyped about this. I can't wait to get started on it. And I'm just stoked for you, Jack. Yeah. I know you've been wanting a Supra forever. So the fact that, like, how far that Evo came. Yeah, it's, it's night and no, day. It's like, night day nuts. This, the Supra doesn't need as much work as that. So if that Supra is in the same condition as that Evo, then you literally have, like, a JDM dream garage. Oh, with yeah, those for sure. two cars parked yeah. beside yeah. each other. So. And Jack, ever since I told him, uh, you know, Michael's coming with this Supra, Jack's like, hey, you know, maybe down the line I could, like, buy I could, it, I could yeah. buy, it, buy it, buy it or right whatever. Right? I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, I don't, it's like, we don't, we don't do that here. Goes, so, yeah. I need to figure out how to make the money to buy that car. I yeah. I guess. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. no. I'm not doing another no. Supra build. I don't want, I don't want this car. <laughs> I need to build my own car so we can Oh, look, me, you, and Rex, who could drive this our second, Supras. This is the second JDM car to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> you got some in your eye, bro. Yeah, you got some. Oh, you got, oh. it's, it's so dusty in here. Uh, What's your YouTube channel? It is uh, Elsia's World. Uh, we can flash the, you got the logo. So, mm -hmm. yeah, um, I've been making strong pushes on my channel with a little advice um, from some people who know how to do YouTube a little bit better than me. Which is uh, not him. <laughs> no, no. My channel's <laughs> bigger than his. No. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, so, it is. But yeah, no, check out my channel. Uh, if you don't mind, I've been making a big push with it and uh, really upgrading some content. And I have one of the most rare Toyota Supras in my garage right now that I really want to show the world because I didn't even know they existed up until like a year ago. So uh, be looking for that video to come out here soon. And uh, I want to give you the color of the car, but that will give it away. Yeah, so. don't, don't give don't away, give don't give, it. just go to his channel and subscribe absolutely right now. Link will be in the video description below. And uh, also look out for the super that we have in this video on Jack's channel, Jack builds it. Yeah, so uh, he's Congrats, gonna be bro. right Dude, now. I'm he, so stoked, yeah, man. He is, he is knee bro. deep. He is knee deep in a noble M400 build, and uh, <laughs> right, right after that, after he rips all of his hair out, then he can start on the world's worst Supra. Isn't that exciting? Now, it is. now he's it crying is, about yeah. the noble. Yeah, now, now it's, now it's not tears of joy. <laughs> it's tears of pain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think I think that's enough for uh, this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, wrench every day and uh, watch some more videos from these guys. See ya.